Today I will show you how to grow a join plant from cuttings with time lapse or results for a cutting done about 50 days back. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Before I show you the cuttings, a glance about plant reproduction that is sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction also known as vegetative propagation that is vegetative reproduction sexual reproduction is going from seeds will not go into details of all this then coming to uh, asexual or vegetative reproduction like for example from offsets and bulbils that eventually become independent like we have shown you uh, this already in our aloe vera propagation video but this method of vegetative propagation that is growing from cuttings is really awesome. A complete plant can be regenerated from a cut piece of stem or root, a bird or even a leaf. Most of the herbs like adjoin, this is the preferred method of propagation. So how do these cuttings root? Generally the best time to grow from cuttings is summer season. But for adjoined plant, you can grow from cuttings anytime. So the basic concept here is, when you cut off the end of a stem, you inflict a wound and cut off the water supply. And those two events determine what you and the cutting must do next if the cutting has to survive. Its job is to heal the wound and make the new roots. Your job is to provide a suitable water, light, air, temperature and soil to keep it alive during that process. Roots are most likely to develop at a stem wound that is in firm contact with the soil that is moist soil. When a plant is wounded, hormones called auxins collect briefly around the wound and alter the nature of cell division in the cambium. The cambium is the inner layer of the uh, inner the layer beneath the bark. So that is uh, it begins to form embryonic root tissue around this uh, area. Meanwhile, callus material forms over the wounded area, similar to fracture healing in humans. If the wound is exposed to air, the callus dries and becomes hard in contact with moist soil. The callus uh, remains somewhat soft and the roots beneath it can emerge. One thing you can do uh, like to be more successful in cuttings is Prior to taking cuttings, water the mother plant well at least 12 hours before you plan to take cuttings. So if you are a newbie gardener, believe me, start your task of growing from cuttings from a joint plant. It is really really very easy to grow plant. Look at these two cuttings. It's nothing done for these cuttings. Just strip the leaves near the bottom and insert them into the potting soil to about 2 inches deep. That's all. No rooting hormone or any special requirement is uh, necessary. It grows in any well-drained soil or even cocoa peat. Then finally water the this uh, thoroughly for the first time and see how it easily grows. Also look at this small cutting inserted about 50 days back when I created my first video on the benefits of a joint plant. And look at the same plant to present date. It grows so tall and healthy. Mm, that's all in this video friends. See you in my next video. Take care.